Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, got my, my man Goo here, and did you see how many overheads he just smashed? I'd say he hit over 30, and he didn't miss a single one. And they were all coming back like as hard, like so hard, like 120 miles an hour coming back screaming past me. I'm glad he didn't hit me. So, and I was feeding him really wildly, but he was getting to every one. So coach, yep. how do I uh, track everyone down like you? How do I get under everyone like you? How do I hit it back each and every one like you? That is a good question. Um, as, the, as you can see, the overhead is a really effective weapon when used correctly. Um, but it's a tough one. It's a, a lot of people get the misconception of how the ball is, right? The ball is high in the air, but you got to move your feet to the ball. So positioning, making contact like a serve, and going forward to the ball is always a crucial thing. So learning how to track is the biggest thing. So. As you can tell from my footwork, I keep moving. I don't stay still until I feel confident that I stay where I want to be and I hit the roof wall. Um, worst case scenario, my chance if it's over my head, I don't have enough time. And plus the weather over here is a little ridiculous. It's a little windy out here. You want to set up the best ways you can. So you try, always try to want to land forward as much as you can. So you guys can hear the wind, I'm sure. So it's kind of swirling. We don't know if it's going left to right, right to left, straight up and straight down. So we got to keep our, our feet moving, okay? We got to keep our feet moving. We got to get under the ball, right? This wind, you can, you, you can think you're right under the ball and then the wind can just take it away from you. So you got to be quick on your feet and don't, and don't be like me a lot of times in which I just plant myself and think the ball is just going to come right over my head so I can smash it, okay? We got to be moving, moving. So... Coach Gu told me an interesting thing before we started filming. He said, pretend you're the quarterback, right? What does that mean? That's a good question. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, so when we think about an overhead, right, it's, it's, I always think about it as like a long hike. So if everyone is familiar with football, American football, um, when after the when you hike the ball, the quarterback, when he feels the pressure, like the blood's coming through, right, what's his first instinct when he has to run back? It's almost like a crossover, or people call it the grapevine, I call it crossover, karaoke, many versions of that, right? The reason why we go like this right away is the most effective way to run back, right? If the ball is really over our head, then we call it crossover. If it's a little bit, let's say a minor adjustment, think of side shuffle, we have time, right? Side shuffle is kind of minor adjustments looking at the ball where it's gonna be. But most of the time, if that ball pops up and you wanna move there effectively, efficiently, always bring over the cross step so it's like it's like i'm uh you're like ready for a hike and exactly. then you're ready i'm a quarterback when that ball, when that ball comes hike right you're ready to turn on the side exactly. ready to tap. right and afterwards when you finish you always, always want to lay it forward exactly so we also want to get it does two things it gets you moving right mm -hmm. quarterback keeps you moving but it also gets you sideways which is the position that you need to be because no one's going to be hitting an overhead like this. Or no, no one throws a football at them. Right, exactly. <laughs> you, you, you can't throw a football like this, right? we got to be this way so we can get our legs into it and our bodies into it. And so immediately we go side, right? Side yeah. and back. Okay, so I'm going to try a few and see if I can get under it. Wish me luck. So the drill that we're going to do with Harry um, is he's going to touch the net. When he taps that net or touches it, I'm going to lob it over his head. His goal is trying to get into that football because it's a QB stance. Run right away. Try to get it the best way as possible. Just before he's about to get into it, take a step in. Try to hit that contact in front of him. Always hit that ball in front of you. It's high, like a serve. It's kind of like a serve. And you finish all the way through from the ball. Okay, one more quick thing for the viewers out there. What grip am I using? Oh, that is a good question. It is always going to be the continental grip. So the shake hand grip, okay? Yes. Shaking hands or the hammer grip. The shake always hands Always use the continental. Okay. And then my left hand's doing what? It's always going to be up. So it's, it's going, going to, to be up. up. And then you, and it's just like, kind of like football, right? So you want to make sure that your right hand is 90 degrees to the 90 degree bend, right? Right. So 
No, it's like when you grab it, like, that's why you see football cards like this, because they're automatically going to throw. Right. So Same thing as this. So we're actually a real quarterback, and we're we're in the throwing position. And then you're just going to... And then we're just going to chuck it. Okay, I got you. So here. Get a shot. So here. Yep. Okay. So coach, that's a lot of leg work there. Yes. So it's a very physical stroke, isn't it? Yes, definitely. I would say it's one of the most fit one of the physical strokes. Because it looks easy if people hit it, but when it's with the wind, it's, it causes more physicality. Yeah, exactly. The wind so, is swirling here if you can't hear it. Yeah. So even if you think you're under it, you're not. Yeah. Right? Because it's gonna it starts sometimes it goes to the right and then it goes to the left. So I'm under it, and then I got to, oh, I'm coming back this way, so. It's a um, very underrated shot, too. So it's, it looks easy on TV, or just how people, it look, makes it look easy, but it's actually really tough. It's right. one of the toughest shots. So I'm actually going to do one more drill. Um, I'm going to feed Coach Goose some. He's going to talk his way through the strokes a couple times. So watch this. So I want you to. If I were to do that, I'd be on the ground. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I got young Coach Goo here that can run everything down. All right. If you guys decide to do this drill, take it slow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're going to break an ankle. You're going to break a knee. You're going to break a hip. Don't break your head. Okay. Try this drill slowly. Just make sure you get under the ball. See, so you hear this wind? You yeah. hear this wind? It is tough out here. Yeah. It? But try it. It's fun, guys. It's it fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's have fun with it. Most of these drills that that we like try to send out to you guys is all fun. It's just trying to experiment. It's the biggest thing about tennis. It's just learning from your failures and then having fun with it, right? Exactly. And just being prepared for it, knowing how to do it correctly. Yes. Right? So just to quickly go over it again, we're we're quarterback, yeah. right? We're taking a snap, right? And we're going immediately to turn, right? So we're holding. So this is like a quarter the ball. We're taking the ball and we're putting it into position, right? Doing this, and then we're basically getting ready to throw it, right? So this arm's going to be straight up, right? Right, and until the ball comes down, until we strike it. So don't do this too early. Want to go up there and reach, and then come through, right? So we'll have left arm a little yeah, longer. Exactly. So most lessons that I'm sure you do on an overhead, you go keep your left arm up yep. longer, yep. right? Because everybody tends to do this and this. The reason and why, then, right? Yeah. And then that's where you lose control, and then you have fly balls, or you feel like you're going to fall over. Right. That's why the left hand's out there to help you balance. It's like a balance beam, right? If you walk, you don't walk with one hand out, you walk with two. So it helps you counterbalance that. Right, exactly. Because if you if you dip this, right, then everything dips. Then you're gonna wind up hitting the top of the frame or somewhere else. Or missing totally. Yep. Right? So 
left arm straight out, right before you contact them, bam, okay? That's how we do it. So take it easy though, okay? Take it easy though. Coach Koo, yep. you're gonna be posting some of this stuff on your Instagram. Yes, Where can I we am. find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll be posting all of this content up there. Hope you guys have fun with the drills. All right, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.